All right, we got a brand new canister and we can't get the generator to uh, fire up. I think the battery might be weak or something. So we're gonna try it again. Put the uh, regulator on, open the valve, turn the battery on, and see it's not cranking. So, we're gonna try to jump the battery. So I've got this battery charger. It also will do a, uh, a start. In other words, it'll start a car, so it should be powerful enough to start this thing. So we'll have to, uh, take, the back, take the panel off the back and get access to the battery and try to jump it. All right, the battery compartment's over here. And we've got this uh, battery charger and also a little start. This will start a car, so it should be able to start this generator. So we just need to open up this panel. I remember this happened once before. I think I left the battery on, that was it. And I'll have to go back and check. But I, I think what I did was I took the battery out and charged it with this thing, recharged it, and then put it back in. Hopefully we don't have to do that, go to that length today. It does have some energy. I'm hoping once a month for 20 minutes. I'll be running it once a month for 20 minutes just to keep the keep the uh, engine lubricated and the battery charged, but maybe that's not enough. I may have to do it every two weeks because we haven't really been using it because there hasn't been any, any uh, power shutoffs from PG&E because of fire danger, luckily. Yeah, so here's the battery. And then that's why this has got some kind of a little thing here. You gotta release it somehow. There. If you release this rubber holder, then the battery will come out. Oh, I just connected the gas and moved it away as a precaution. Because I'm working with electricity and I want to mix those two things. Alright, so let's see if we can we can't get access to the battery terminal, so we should be able to jump it. Alright. So let's hook this up. So I'll go ahead and plug this in and then we'll hook it up. Before I charge I decided I better uh, check the battery. That would be a good idea. So this is a 12 volt battery check. You just connect this to the black. And then you can touch the red. Showing 12 volts, but you know, it's supposed to be 12 and a half volts, so it's a little bit down. I think I think I'm gonna have to run it every two weeks. That'll be this ultimate solution here. But let's see if we can get it jumped. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these on. Black to black and red to red. Pretty straightforward. Actually, put the red on first. It's always seemed backwards to me, but that's the way you're supposed to do it. I don't really have a uh, ground on the motor that's handy that I know about anyway. So I'm going to put it on the terminal. Usually, it's better to put it if you're jumping a car battery, a car, you want to put it on the uh, somewhere on the engine. As opposed to on the battery, there's a slight risk of of uh, battery exploding, sort of. Okay, so we'll plug this in and uh, then we'll turn it on and see if we can get it. Right, so if you look at this, it looks like it's pretty well charged up. It's close to 100% charged, but we'll we'll leave this on for a minute and then we'll try to start out. This has a 55 amp. Uh, start setting but i don't really want to i don't want to put 55 amps in this thing so you also do six volt battery because this is a 12 volt battery so uh we'll try putting it on the 10. I, i'm gonna leave it on the two and see if it'll start with two now i'll go ahead and hook the gas up and then we'll see if it'll start with just a two amp boost to the battery all right so we got the uh two amp boost going on the battery we got the gas on Turn this on, see if it'll start. I right, started, so we'll, we'll turn off the uh, we'll turn off the uh, 
battery charger and uh, we'll just let's let it run for 20 minutes so I, I turned off the battery unplugged the battery charger and now you, you always remove the black first and then the red I'll just leave the battery out here until it's done uh, with this 20 minutes and we'll see if it'll start up right away afterwards then we'll put it, we'll put, put, put it back together all right it's been running 20 minutes so we're going to shut off the gas this will shut off the engine. We'll turn off the battery for a second. We'll just let it sit for a second and then we'll try restarting it and see if the battery has enough juice to restart it. All right, it's been sitting for a minute, so we're going to turn the battery back on. And I don't think I mentioned before, but uh, it'll start on the first try if you pull the choke out on, on natural gas, on uh, propane. All right, so we'll see if it starts. If it does, we'll button it up and try again in two weeks. Well, I turned the gas off right. All right, it doesn't have enough charge, so I'm going to uh, put the battery on triple charge and let it charge up for a few hours, and then I'll hook it back up and try it again. May have to replace the battery. That's possible. All right, so this battery charger has an automatic mode where it'll send two amps to the battery, and then when it gets to 100% charge, it'll shut off automatically. That's what we want. So you always want, uh, this doesn't have an on off switch, so you always want to hook up the, the uh, battery connections first, then plug it in. At least I like to, then there's no sparking. So put the. Red on red, black on black. I'll go plug it in and then we'll take a look at it. All right, I showed you this before, but let's look at it. So here, you see it's down now, it's not at 100% anymore. So it did use some energy trying to start the engine. So we'll just let it run uh, for a few hours and see if it gets 100% and then uh, try starting it again. All right, it's been charging for about six hours. That should be enough. It's only a seven amp hour battery and we're charging it at two amps. So, so this is not quite at 100%. Actually, it's hard to tell exactly. It's still going in at about a little bit less than two amps. So we'll see what happens. It could be this battery is uh, kaput. It is about 22 months old, which is not not a super long time for this kind of battery, but we'll just see what happens. We will turn on, uh, un unplug the battery charger, disconnect these terminals and try firing it up again and see if it'll fire the generator. All right, gas is hooked up, turned on. Turn on the battery, try to start it. Pull the choke out. All right, it's charged up. Started the. I guess this was already. Sometimes I, if I pull the choke out, it starts on the first time. Sometimes I, if I don't pull the choke out, I have to hit it twice to get it started. So, choke with propane is kind of. Uh, Inconsistent, let's say. All right, so we'll turn off the gas. All right, we just charged the battery with a battery charger, so it should be fully charged. We ran, you know, we started up the engine. Well, see now that took a bunch of energy out of the battery. So uh, let's see. I think what we'll do is we'll just try it in a couple weeks and see if it uh, can start the start the engine. If it can't, I'll charge it up and then run the battery for 20 minutes, or run the generator for 20 minutes in a couple weeks, and we'll see if that that'll uh, keep it charged. If we do it every two weeks, so we'll do that for we'll see what happens in two weeks is what I'm really saying. Uh, one more thing I'm going to do I'm going to use the battery checker. Yeah, see now it's, it's showing 13 volts, so 
The battery's still charged. It, if it can hold its charge for two weeks, then it should work. So we'll try it again in two weeks. If it starts up, then we'll just assume this battery's okay. We need to run the generator every two weeks. That's my conclusion. Okay, it's been a couple weeks since we uh, <clears throat> jump started and charged the battery and ran the generator for 20 minutes. So we're gonna see if the battery has held its charge for two weeks because it seems like it was starting at uh i was running it once a month but it wasn't starting and then then last month it didn't do it so i think we need to run this every two weeks we're going to test that now see if it'll start up now every two weeks uh, after two weeks then we'll go ahead and start charging it start running it every two weeks at about once a month turn the battery on pull the choke out and try to start it all right so Let's turn it off and talk better. Remember, there's no off button. You have to just, just turn the gas off. So two weeks, uh, it held its charge. So that means we're going to run it every two weeks instead of once a month. So that's the final answer. And uh, battery's still good. It just, just uh, needs to be charged every two weeks. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Post a comment if you have any questions or ideas, and I'll try to respond. That's all for now, but more videos are coming. And if you want to see them, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification icon if you don't want to miss one. This is Beta Signi signing out, and keep looking up.